Hey friends, have you ever thought of a world without the possibility of addition and subtraction? I wonder how that world would be. Imagine you have one box of chocolates and you want to know the total number of chocolates in the box. You can do this by counting them. But what if you had four boxes of chocolates? Can you find out the number of chocolates you have without counting? This will be impossible. Why is this so? It is because you cannot add the number of chocolates in all the boxes since addition is not possible in that world. What if you wish to buy a bottle of juice from a shop? You may not be able to calculate your change. Why? It is because you cannot subtract in that world. Without addition and subtraction, banks may not even operate because addition and subtraction of money cannot be done. There will be no computers and calculators because these were developed using addition and subtraction amongst other operations. You will not even be able to calculate your age as it involves addition of years. The wonderful thing about our world is that we can add and subtract. So when you have five balls in one basket and seven balls in another basket, you can know the total number of balls you have simply by adding the number of balls in each basket. This addition gives 12 balls altogether. In addition, some simple steps are taken in order to obtain the result. I bet you must have seen these steps before now. We will discuss them more in another lesson. The result of addition is called the sum. Generally, addition can be seen as a sort of gathering together. Let's talk about subtraction. We subtract when we need to remove a number of items from a total number. Say we had 12 apples in a bowl and someone removes three apples from the bowl. How many apples would be left in the bowl? You need to subtract three from 12 in order to know the number of apples remaining. Therefore, nine apples are left in the bowl. The result of subtraction is called the difference. Generally, subtraction can be seen as removing from a total. Can you now see how addition and subtraction are very important to not only mathematics, but to us also? Addition and subtraction are to mathematics what a foundation is to a house. So important. To wrap it up, we have learned in this lesson that addition can be seen as gathering together while subtraction can be seen as removing from a whole. If you had eight eggs and one got broken, what happened? An addition or a subtraction? <laughs>